You are now listening to T on One Radio, the talk show podcast station. This is Sister Talk, and I am your host, Sister Such and Such. I'm an open-minded and raw character who says exactly what is on my mind. Meanwhile, telling the truth about it all. Sister Talk is news, information, lifestyle, and of course my opinions. And I leave no subject untouched. Now, the information and resources on this podcast are based on the opinions of the host, unless otherwise noted. All information is intended to motivate, encourage, and inspire positive change and a healthier lifestyle. This podcast may contain some quotations, images, and or excerpts from copyrighted material. These uses fall well within the copyright doctrine of fair use. Welcome to Sister Talk. And I'm coming to you live today to tell you that the Lord has been watching you motherfuckers not put nothing in the contribution box. Sister Jenkins, please point the person out who didn't put nothing in the contribution box today. It's the reason why our toilet in the church is not working. Because no one has been putting nothing in the box. You got to pay to hear about the Lord nowadays. And he gave me the word to give it to you. Hey, I'm start putting some in the contribution box so me and Sister Jenkins can continue to ride these on that bitch. Think that's that shit I'll be talking about. It is, ain't it? Well, hey, y'all, this is Sister Such and Such. Yeah, I've been away for a minute, but it's all good. I'm scraped. Ain't that how we say it? Scraped. Mm-hmm. Well, today we're going to talk about the state America is in. Uh-huh. And we're going to do it my way, all right? So for those of y'all who are new, like, subscribe, and share to stay in the know. All right? Well, all right. Now, the state of America. Now, that's going to cover a few things that's going on right now. I'm pretty sure if you listen to anybody anywhere on any platform right now, you pretty well know what the various topics is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all the way from the Frick Nick to the marriage issues to what's going on with the children's. We're going to talk about it all today, y'all. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody might get their feelings hurt, but it's all right. It's going to heal up. It's going to be all right. Mm-hmm. There you go. I already kissed the boo-boo before I put it there. How about that? Now, let's start off with this Frick Nick thing here. Now, you got everybody all up in arms about it. You got a lot of females that's upset about it. It's supposed to be a documentary coming out about it. Mm-hmm. Which has pretty much piqued the interest of the youngsters. And now they want to know if they mommies and aunties or maybe even if they daddies and uncles went to that event. Mm-hmm. Now, here is the thing about it. Some of, they, some of these females don't want the documentary to come out, and some people do. I don't know which end of the spectrum you may stand on, or or if you're in between, or you neutral, or you just really don't give a shit. But here is the thing. It's really not up to you whether you want it to come out or not because, well, hell, let's just be honest about it. It's public. And even back then, there was camcorders and cameras and everything else. And you know them, you know them fellas was going to have some type of recording devices of some type because they're going to want to remember that momentous occasion. Mm-hmm. And then you know someone's going to want proof to show their boys who didn't go that they should have went. Mm-hmm. Now, let's be clear about this. Pretty much most of the folks who went out there was of legal age. From what I hear, there was some folks out there that wasn't supposed to be out there. And you know that happens every day, all day, at any club or hole in the wall. There's going to be some folks that ain't supposed to be there that's going to show up. It's going to happen. Now, you out here in public, and that's what Freak Nick turned into, really. Because the college kids started it, and it was this huge picnic thing. But 
other folks joined in and it turned into a big cesspool of public everything. You, you they was doing some of everything. Titties ass everything was out. So in the spirit of it being in public, what the hell y'all thought was gonna happen? Y'all didn't think this was going to get shown later in life? I mean, you chose to go out there. You wasn't forced to go out there. You were not forced to do anything you was doing out there on your own. So I'm trying to understand the problem, just to be honest about it. Because, okay, let's look at this. We out there, if you wasn't butt-ass naked, you was damn near butt-ass naked. And you was shaking exactly what your mama gave you. You wanted to. I mean, if, if I'm wrong, you didn't want to. Some One of these girls who done already spoke up, shit, speak up now and explain it to me. Because I'm asking you. And for the ones who jumped up there, or they, ugh, Lord, they all over YouTube talking about how it's not right to put it out. Well, why the hell you do it? What the hell you do it for? If you didn't want it to be seen, why'd you do it in public? The time frame really don't matter because everything that's done in the dark comes to the light. So you made the decision to go out there and put your ass out on front straight and now you're complaining about it. So I don't understand. Explain it to me. If you was willing to show it to them, why you don't want nobody else to see it? I might want to see it. My son might want to see it. I mean, there's plenty of people might want to see it because, see, I didn't go. <clears throat> no, I was about my money. While I was, everybody was out there, I was on my money. Because all the women that ran off to go up there and thought, you know, nobody else back home was going to know about it. And you could let your freak flag fly. Because that's what the hell you did. Come on, just be honest about it. You let your, fleet, your freak flag fly. You let that ass hang and clap and bounce and roll and you showed everybody out there what you was working with. You did that. Own it. Own that shit. You did that. You was proud then, so why you ain't proud now? Sit back and go, yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it. That was my mindset then and I did it. Hell is a part of life. But see, them old heads, they had it. A little more simpler. They had they they had they stuff behind closed doors, so you controlled who came in, who knew what. It wasn't no coming in with no cameras and all of that. See, they knew how to do that shit and keep it on, on the low. But y'all, who was the youngsters then, y'all got a problem with it. Y'all did the shit in public where you ain't had no damn control over nothing. And now you're bitching and crying because everybody finna know what you did. Mm-hmm. But you're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I get the fact that y'all got good jobs and shit now, and you scared you're going to lose your job. But, I mean, but you did it. Yeah, you ran the risk back then that you didn't even know was a risk that, for now. That's how life works. You never know what the hell the rules is going to change and be by the time you get to where it is you want to be in life. So you got to think about the shit before you do it. Not bitch and complain and try to stop it from being shown later on in life. It don't work like that. You ain't got control over everything. That's just what the hell it is. Whatever you do out there in them streets, in that dark, it's going to be some light shed on it some type of way. Never forget that. And because you chose to be classy now and hide your inner freak does not mean it was not there and you put that shit on front street your damn self. Own it. Let it be what it is. And I got one more question on this freak mix subject. Okay, so with the whining and crying about it, you kind of put your front, your, yourself on front street that you did it, I'm just saying. So, you know, you, you, you went on told folks that, hey, I was out there and that was what I was doing. Okay, but don't cry about it. You told on yourself, you want some credit for that. Oh, mm, mm-hmm, 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 okay. 
Mm-hmm. You got that. Now be quiet. And somebody let me know when this shit's come out. Because I want to see this shit. I want to see who I was up there. Like Christmas being a ho, ho, ho. Mm-hmm. See if I see a few of my friends from back in the day up there. Hell yeah, I'm going to laugh. Why y'all laughing now? That's the whole point of why I want to see this shit. Because I want to laugh and see the... See if any I see some of the people I know back then who lied and said they didn't go, but they actually went. Mm-hmm. Just like I say, I didn't go. I stayed at home and had some fun. Mm-hmm. I done spent all that money for that shit and all that and that. But yeah, that's 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 part of the state that America is in right now. They all in arms about the freak neck. Because everybody was up for acting ass. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all young, because y'all might want to stop asking y'all aunties and mama and them if they, <laughs> if they went up there. Like, I don't know nobody who want to be asked that shit. But if you if you get asked that, like, if y'all get asked that, don't get too mad at them. Because it's a question. You don't, you never know unless you ask. So don't be... Don't be beating your children down because they ask you and you want to feel all disrespected and shit. You didn't, you, we already passed that. You done disrespected yourself and everybody else by showing your ass back then. So, if you did it, just be like, yeah, I was I was out there doing the food. That was, yeah. I mean, just go on and hold that chin up and take that lick. Because cause you did it. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as the economy goes in the in America, some people say it's all right, it's bouncing back. Some people say that's bullshit. We in the toilet. Now, I say, with the way shit is going, it is in the toilet because they talking about messing with. They talking about if the debt ceiling don't get raised, they gonna get to messing with folks' shit. So security and everything else. Now, see, I got a damn problem with that, and I'm pretty sure y'all know what my problem is. I'm too old to come out of retirement and go back to the pole. I don't need to be on nobody's damn job. And I think I speak for all the old heads when I say y'all bullshit, and y'all need to cut that shit out and figure out a way to another another way to deal with that shit. How about we stop sending money to all these other countries and trying to fix everybody else's damn problems? How about we keep our money over here and help the folks that's over here? Now, I understand that sometimes people need help. But just like in your personal family, you know these, you you know it be neighbors and stuff that folks want to help and then they got to come get money from you. Well, damn it, U.S., we, we, we need to stop that. Stay out of everybody damn's business. Let them handle their own shit. And we handle ours. And the economy will do very well. See, America tends to be a bully. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You want to be in everybody else's business. Ladies, y'all know that female, that one female that y'all know in your neighborhood you run into her everywhere and you try to avoid her because she going to ask 101 damn questions and your answers get spread all over the damn town or city. Because she's stopping everybody asking everybody shit about what they got going on in their lives. And she the one spreading that information and trying to tell everybody what to do and what not to do and how shit is a wreck. That's America right now. Financially. Can we mind our own damn business sometimes? Sometimes. Because it's not even sometimes right now. We are already over across them waters trying to tell other countries what laws they can and can't make for their countries. Get out them folk damn business. That ain't your damn business. Them people ain't getting hurt. Let them work their own shit out. We can't run everybody else's country in our own. We're going to go broke like that. 
Hmm. Message gone broke like that. Let me say that again. We'll go broke like that. None of us want to be broke like that. You ain't asked the taxpayers what they want to spend the money on. And don't say, yeah, we do, because we got the voting system. We see where the hell that is. Get your hands out my my grand my great grandkids' piggy banks. Can you do that? Can you stay out of other countries' business? Stay in your own lane. Mind your business. And keep that money right here within the U.S. Work on some of these ragged ass roads we got. Help these veterans like we're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Like seriously. Seriously. Stop trying to tell people what they can and can't do in all these other countries. And, and mind your own damn business sometimes. Invest some of that money within your own citizens to start businesses and shit. How about that? How about work on the school system for real? How about you rework this whole healthcare system for real with some of that money? Y'all want to go analyze everything else and try to set up this and set up that in all these foreign countries, but ain't doing shit at home for your own people. How the hell does that make sense? Not to mention, AI is finna destroy it all. The way this stuff is going with the computers, because they finna take it to the point to where money ain't gonna be shit. Cash, that is. It's about to be shit for real, y'all. And if they make AI so smart that it can run everything for them, it's going to run it into the ground. Mm-hmm. But we worried about what's going on in every other country. We ain't helping our own country. That's why we can't bounce back financially. America damn near broke, y'all. But that's not what they want to really tell you. They like to tell us half truths. Not the whole truth, but just just half. Because they feel like we can't handle it and we're going to wig the hell out of it. Like if they tell us the truth, then we just going to completely go haywire. We ain't that stupid. But that's the way they're treating us. We could have something. Every community could be set up to the point where it truly could be self-sufficient and stand and care for its community leaders on down to the to the last person in the community. Everybody could be scraped. Yes, everybody could be straight. Everybody could live comfortably, decent. But that's not going to happen as long as the U.S. is worried about everybody else's business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, okay, see, this is another side. This is the flip side to this. In the hood, with all the lives being taken, it ain't going to be nobody that for it to be no community, nor business. If everybody gone, who you gonna sell your products to? Your shirts, your... All, whatever it is you do, whether it's candles, or whether you grow food, or make shoes, or baubles, or, and if everybody is no longer living because they done shot, stabbed, whatever else, shootings, because there's so, so many more of them. And that goes for all them youngsters who want to do music, too. Because music, that would be money within the communities. That could go toward, you know, economic stability. But but they, they're killing up all the other 
rappers and singers and whatnot. So I don't see how that make any sense to make any money neither. But it just speaks to the state that America's in right now. Everybody done damn near lost their mind. It's so much more hatred out there than it is love. And that just don't make no damn sense. Fight some shit out. You little swing another day. You might fuck around and fix the issue you had with that person. And next thing you know, you got a bomb-ass music group. Or a bomb-ass business partner. But instead, you offer them and that's supposed to be the thing. That shit ain't cool. Ain't gonna be nobody left for you to network with. What the hell? Which makes me think they really not about their money then. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that part though. Y'all just y'all let me know what y'all think about that shit. Cause it's crazy as hell to me. I'm just saying, let me take a sip of my coffee. It's crazy as hell. The state of America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we getting off into this shit today, ain't we? I told you somebody gonna be mad. Somebody, somebody gonna ain't gonna really ain't gonna like old sister such and such no more. But you know, I just gotta tell it like it is. Now, we got another topic count. Now, I've been hearing this back and forth and forth and back all over. YouTube and TikTok and Facebook and I mean that's everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then folks is talking about it all in the in the streets and things. And they doing these little clip things. They, you know, different podcasts and whatnot. They talking about you know body count. And these all oh, these these females is losing their damn shits over that question. Why? Don't lose your shit. It's a question. Just like the question that I heard a lot of females ask these guys that just absolutely gets up under these guys' skin. You don't want them asking about your body count. They don't want you asking about their bank account. Fair exchange ain't no damn robbery. Don't be getting mad. If you want if you want to be able to ask that man how much money he make and how much he got in the bank and did you want to see the deed to his house and all this shit, bitch, answer the damn question. What's your damn body count? That's one question compared to the 50 million you're going to ask him about his, his money. Not your money, his money. Miss Independent, why you asking about his money then? If you're so damn independent. That should not be in your vocabulary to ask that man. Unless you're his wife. Stay out that man pockets. Get your own shit. Let it run that way. Then you can really do this feminism shit y'all trying to do right. Because that's something else that's starting to ruin America. Let's just be honest about it. Okay. Here we go. Wanted equal rights. Right or wrong? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if that be the case, then why all the complaining and the bitching and carrying on? And the hollering, we don't need men. Y'all done lost y'all damn mind. You really have. Without them, we, we'd still be in the Stone Ages. We really would. If you don't need no men, what you gonna drive? They made that. They building houses. Bitch, where you gonna live? You want you gonna wanna have some kids sooner or later. Where you think you where if it was not how the hell are we supposed to get pregnant? If it ain't no men. Can't be no sperm donors if if ain't no damn men. Like, it just don't make sense. Where's your head? Get your head out your twat. 
Let it be above that. Think above that. Think with some common sense. Come on, Jesus. That is one other thing that you, it just drives me just damn near crazy. Stop saying that. We don't need no men. Bitch, you don't need a man is what you think. Take away all them luxuries. How the hell you think you got that? Man did that. One man didn't do that. We came from them. Women find it so hard to accept that fact. Yeah, we need them. Yeah, they get on our nerves sometimes. Hell yeah. Wouldn't trade a man for nothing in the world. Them helpers done lost their damn mind. If all y'all women running behind them, listening to them, y'all fucking up. Holler independent. You want to holler unity. You just as equal. You can do anything a man do. Y'all better get out there and get at it. Y'all better learn how to hunt and fish while you're at it and build for real. You finna have to become a jack of all trades real fast. Because the state of America is going down. Repeat, I say the state of America is going down. And for everybody hollering, they don't need a man. Don't come looking for one when shit go to shit. And don't be trying to take nobody else's. When you realize you do need a man. Chasing the bag. Bragging that you bring motivation and coochie to the damn table. He brought the whole damn house and table and everything else and you come with that bullshit? He don't need that. That ain't doing no man no good. You don't want to clean up. You don't want to make something. You're supposed to be a helpmate. Help, bitch. The term is help, not take. Because nine times out of ten, what you end up doing is becoming a career marriager. That is getting married for a couple of years and then divorcing the man and taking half his shit he worked hard for. That you done laid up on him and nagged and bitched about it and he went to work getting extra hours just so he could get the hell away from you. Mm-hmm. Working himself to death for some ungrateful twat. It's not what a man want. He want a woman that's gonna put get her hands dirty right, right beside him. She gonna have his back for real. He don't want nothing. He got to be worried about. He not supposed to have to worry about you like that. He got too much other stuff that the world puts on him that he has to handle. And that bullshit whining and nagging and I won't, I won't. That shit is for the birds. Don't nobody want to deal with that. So guess what they going to do? They going to smash and dip on your ass. What Erica Badu say, you, the bag lady, you got too much baggage. Mm-hmm. And them wants become baggage. I deserve, I deserve. That's baggage. What did you get for what you deserve for yourself? Mm-hmm. Now, that's just one way that America is going through it. It's citizens, that is, relationship-wise. You know, the happy end, happy home life, the dating scene. Mm-hmm. That's just another state that America is in right now and what they're going through. Mm-hmm. Damn! Now I come to the last and final point in part of the state of America right now. We be worried about some shit that should not be no high priority. And what we got to deal with right now. Case in point. 
There's a story coming out of California about an inmate who receives state-funded sex reassignment surgery. See, that's something right there. Now, you got issues with the vets not they they having issues getting their funds going. They having issues keeping a roof over their head. And these people fall for our country. Or the elders and the seniors who can't get walkers. They got to scrape and scrounge and possibly not pay a bill to be able to get them a walker. To assist them in walking. But we can do this. I mean, do are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Are y'all hearing what I'm hearing? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This sort of thing is not high priority. You have women who want to get hysterectomies because they're having so many problems and they're being told they cannot because it's seen as unnecessary. Is a sexual reassignment surgery necessary or unnecessary? I think it's unnecessary. Now, I'm not trying to be funny toward nobody who feel like they in the wrong body because that's not my battle to fight. That's between you and your maker. Mm -hmm. But here is where I have an issue with it. Tax dollars, especially coming out of my pocket, should not be paid for shit like that when there's some real shit going on. That needs to be paid for. That needs to be publicly known. That needs to get handled. We got too many people hungry. We got too many homeless children. We have too many homeless vets for shit like this. Mm -hmm. And let me be honest and let me say this. When it comes to all this transgender information... That is one that is not high on the priority list. And I'm cool if that's the way you feel about you, but don't shove that shit down my throat and down my children's throat and down my grandchildren's throat. Stay y'all ass out these damn schools stripping for these kids because that shit is not okay. Personally, I feel that is grooming. So those type of things are not high on the priority list when it comes to conversation pieces. Mm -hmm. It may hurt your feelings, but let me go on and really hurt your feelings to make you think. If you are not happy with you, how the hell do you expect anybody else to be happy with you? No matter if you decide to cut off your wing or not, Ultimately, you got to be happy with you. If you're going through all of this just off the basis of needing love and attention from another motherfucker, you out your damn mind to go through all of that. Be happy with you. If you need to do that for you, didn't do it for you. Don't do that shit for nobody else and don't try to force that shit down nobody else's throat. That is impeding on other people's morals, boundaries. Everybody ain't got to know everything that's going on with you like that. Some shit is supposed to remain private. Them, them is your private issues. Please stop trying to force that down everybody's throat. Everybody ain't with that shit. Love you and be happy with that. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I mean that. Be happy with you within yourself. Stop trying to force that down everybody else's throat. We'll be able to see you when you walk by. That's enough. Ain't like nobody hates you. People will speak to you and greet you. But ain't nobody finna suck your ass behind your life choices. Life does not work like that. Be the center of attention within yourself. How about that? Can we just do that? 
-hmm. and actually put some high priority stuff on the agenda for laws and all of that. Let's worry about these inmates that's finna be released who are sex offenders. I mean, don't don't you think that's a little more important? Or the fact that they they're selling us food that ain't real. Or they selling us food that has so many impurities in it. Stuff that can can take our lives, damage our lives. And this is, you know, what we got to deal with in America right now. Can can we deal with those type of things? This is all I'm asking. Can we prioritize what's happening and what's going on so we can actually build a to-do list of shit we really need to deal with and handle and get straightened out with, within our country? Can, can we do that? Mm-hmm. And I mean it. And hopefully y'all as citizens mean that shit too. So now if you're listening to this, wherever you're listening to this at, leave a comment, like, share for more of sister such and such. And we're going to deal with some shit. We're going to talk about some shit. If y'all know any things we need to be talking about, y'all let me know. I love to hear from you. Mm-hmm. And you can find me all over the place. Mm-hmm. Go go Tony on one and you'll find it. Mm-hmm. This is the state of America. Can we try to make this shit better? You have been listening to Sister Talk. Brought to you by T on One Radio, the talk show podcast station. I am your host, Sister Such and Such. If it looks and acts like a duck, then it's a fucking duck. Mm-hmm. Hi guys, this is Tony on One. And I am here to tell you a little bit about my radio station. All shows are by T on One Radio, the talk show podcast station. Shows are available anytime for download, play on demand, And they're on most of your podcast sites and or apps. Subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube. The name over there is Tony on One. As well as like, follow, and share on social media. We're on one. So tune in for Raw Uncut Talk.